It's hard to believe that so many players seem to sort of hit form at the same time and the standards were being pushed back ever further. But you know, Ronnie O'Sullivan, uh, John Higgins, Stephen Hendry, Mark Williams, all in the mix at that time. Stephen sort of trying to hold on to his position, but these new kids on the block coming through, producing an astonishing snooker in the 90s and into the early 2000s. And it's very rare that you get those types of players all coming at the same time. Well, it's, it's, it's almost like um, a sort of golden era of, of talent. Three of them are, are the three that you always be looking for in, in, in every tournament. I mean, the, the, the battles obviously they've had together have, have been fantastic. Even though it wasn't considered to be the golden period of snooker, the 90s, the 80s sort of had that mantle. I think from the snooker fans' perspective, it was, it was by far the most exciting time in the game. And it wasn't nice uh, because they stopped me winning a lot of uh, a lot more of the major tournaments uh, and I'd be beaten in finals uh, by them all. Very prestigious talents, different personalities, but uh, once on the snooker table, they were, uh, you know, complete assassins. Ronnie O'Sullivan has been the most amazing gift to snooker I think we've ever had. Uh, just an astonishing character and an astonishing player and, and probably the biggest genius we've ever seen on the snooker table. To come back after a, a year out and win the title as he did, I just thought it was extraordinary. I know the word genius is used a lot, but he is a genius on the snooker table. I think of all the players that Ronnie O'Sullivan, when I talk to Ronnie about certain players, he really has tremendous, the utmost respect for John Higgins. John Higgins took the level of snooker, match play snooker, to a level higher than perhaps I'd done. And the best all-rounder there's ever been in the game of snooker. And whether you'll ever see a player as good an all-rounder in the game again is arguable. Just like a Steve Davis, basically. All, every part of his, no department that was, had a weakness. Uh, fabulous match player, tough to play against, safety brilliant, scored heavy, a work ethic, everything you'd want, and a brilliant temperament on top of that. Ronnie O'Sullivan's won five. And that's probably why John Higgins has only won four. He hated to lose, and that in itself was a motivation for John Higgins. And I remember when they first come through as youngsters, uh, Steve Davis is quoted, that uh, someone asked him who did he think was the best, John Higgins or Ronnie O'Sullivan. He said, I think Ronnie O'Sullivan has got more talent, but if I had to have one or the other playing for my life, I'd pick John Higgins. Mark Williams, I think, has, has been quite an astonishing uh, competitor in the game of snooker. I wouldn't necessarily have thought that he was guaranteed to be a champion. When he first came onto the scene, he didn't necessarily look like he had all the attributes. But what he's got and what he had at that time was this fierce determination and a competitive instinct that I think you couldn't teach at all. And granite under pressure. One of the best potters I've ever seen in my life has he underachieved? He's certainly not won as many as Ronnie and John. But uh, different characters, and I think that's what added to it as well. You know, you've got Ronnie who can be up and down, you've got John Higgins with this great determination, you've got the laid-back Welshman, you know, who's just sauntering down, around the table, knocking the balls in. But that temperament, above all else, I mean, you could, you could be bombarded or barraged by breaks, never bothered him, he came back and played. A fabulous, fabulous player. The record for ranking times between all of them is just phenomenal, you know, and, and to do it year after year for so many years, and even now, you know, the three of them still at the top of the game, in the top 16 in the world, after about, you know, 20 odd years as professional, it's quite an incredible career. And more often than not, they're at the, the business end of most tournaments. No, you don't see that again. You don't see that again because I think we're struggling probably to have younger players coming through in ones, let alone twos, and certainly not in threes. But you'll never get three like them again. No chance.